Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. Because is so pillar glory. The world that you are living in. Because is so pillar glory. The world that you are living in. Others who have been put by others or uncles. Others are the witches. And we are the witches. Everything is hard on me. When I want things, it is very hard. I need to work hard before I get my things. Yet in the world of Jesus, my yoke is easy and my burden is not hard. It is a Jesus yoke. When I take Jesus' yoke, it is easy. When I take Jesus' burden, it is not hard. Have you ever seen a yoke? Have you ever seen a yoke? My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Do you hear me? When you come to him, everything becomes easy. But if it is not easy, that means that means your world. Our world are different. Konomunye, okukumshaba, kuzubone na isekukil. 
there is another one whom his world is wearing out up until you see him aging. And you will see a person that he is aging while he's young. It is the world that he it's lives like in that is out. It's like he's living in the wilderness. Even if you can smear some it oil, dry but it, dry. Dry. it is dry. It's it's like like it is the world that he so lives in. Now we need to take it out of the world and to enter to the world. That is why Jesus said, come to me. When he said, come to me, he doesn't say, come out from the church, but he takes you out from your world. He doesn't say, come out from the church, but he takes you out from your world. That is why he said, come out from the church, but he was taken out from his world. Come out from the church, 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 he says, come out from the world. Because you were being called and you entered into the world and you were deep in the world and you cannot take yourself out David said I was in the mighty clay when I wanted to take myself out I was in the mighty clay when I wanted to take myself out they called it a mighty clay 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 once you move you enter the world I cry to the Lord and he he stretched his hand and he took me out there is a place where you need to be taken out from there is a place where you need to be taken out from there there is a place where you need to be taken out from there is a place where you need to be taken out from that is why Jesus said you are the salt of the world in our world we are the salt but when we enter into the earth we are the salt of the world with the house we sees in everything because we are in the community 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 we are in the government we are in the government we are in places because we need salt in our world that is why today I am speaking to you it needs to be said in you being able to become comfortable in you where you enter to go so that when you enter into the world you enter with what you are you are before people you enter with healing and now things that are within the earth you enter with healing and you enter with healing and you enter with healing and you enter with healing so that they will be on the surface then you will be able to take it out when it is complain at him when it is it is also complain again how about the world if we are it is also again how about the world tina general bantal ga christ fanele sukume manje sibuyela kwi position yethu as the church we need to be restored to our position sas fanele ukuthi sibe nesibindi we need to be bold singabe saba namahlonu we don't need to singabe sathithiza man we don't need to be sense izinto sense but you need to do this sas ukuthi masa sithanda zile knowing that when you sivula umnyango siyokwenza izinto sense open doors and do masa sizile ukudla when we have sivula umnyango siyokwenza izinto sense ke mhlabeni ithina siyoqala izinto ithina siyoveza izinto we are the one who will invent God has given us that authority we are but our mind and hearts are living in different world do you hear me our mind it is bound by the God of this world. But our hearts belong to the God of heaven. Who wins? <laughs> the God of this world has blinded our minds. But the God of heaven has put his word in our hearts. But your mind is captured by the God of this world. No more Kulum. Though you, you, you speak negative things about you, win. but in your heart, you love God so dearly. God, I'm not your way to win. But you don't love yourself. God, I'm not your way to win. Because what you speak, even if you can sleep and fall, 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 even
feed your world with Wait love. Away. Love yourself. When I speak with you, and I will feel that I speak with the person who loves himself. Because the way people are, they don't have love. They love themselves so little. Even there is something wrong that is happening, when something wrong that is happening, they are become they become angry. Do you know love? You see love. When you love a person 100%, you can flip off the page and hate him 100%. Hallelujah. I'm going to explain because I want you to understand. When you love a person you can hate a person with the same love. You have an ability to hate a person the way you loved him. Why I say so? It's because of the capacity that you have. The way you show love. It is the same way that you can hate. If you can ask divorces, the way they hate each other. They wish as if another spouse will left They wish as if everything can be repossessed. And you will ask yourself, you who are the lovers, you will share a spoon. Now you are hating each other. Yet you were sharing spoon. But now, the way you are hating one another, then you ask yourself, why this so much love has just flipped and become a so much hatred? And most of them, they don't face each other. There are few people when they divorce, they become friends. But they hate each other even if they have kids. And they won't love each other anymore. And if it, you will ask and them what happened when you first see each other, they don't want to remember because it raises the conscience within them. Another one wish another spouse would die. <laughs> Those who will tell you those who have been through it. And I will look what is the cause it's of because that. Of my expectations. It's because of the expectations. When you take a person and uplift him and make him a celestial being, forgetting that he has been when a being, that you will think he is a celestial being and you will raise him him in such a way that you forget so that the human being the day he disappoints you you don't place place him down because when you place him down it becomes easy to forgive him do you know what you do? as he is up there like Jesus, he is a celestial being you shift a position and you will say he is the devil that makes you to hate him with the ultimate hate then he will ask him why you hate me because people normally do what I've done it is the position that she has placed you in he was not expecting you to do this he doesn't place you down and say no, this is a trash. He doesn't say so that. that. He will he will take you and say, You are the devil. Zolo, ubu, jesu, manje, usu, Yesterday you were like Jesus, but today I'm you are trash. Demote. I'm not demoting you.
When he have demoted you, he will forgive you. But when he take you from this side to another side, principal. yes, you are still the principal. Principal, principalities. Do you hear what I'm saying? You were like Jesus. Before you were like Jesus. No one is anointed like you. No one like you, my love. <laughs> I will shift you. Satan. You are the devil. There are possibilities that when you love a person and uplift him very high, when you are being disappointed about him, you don't place him down, but you just shift the position. He moved the, position. the position that is equivalent to Jesus is of the devil. He, he won't be like Belzebub, Satan. but he will be the devil that he will be your title. When you place him back, I don't know whether you will be Gabriel, but you won't be Jesus anymore. So that's why we hate each other. I'm expecting you to disappoint me. Why am I expecting you? It's because I know that the devil can possess you anytime. He doesn't need your permission to possess you. Mean. I know you very well. When he wants to possess you, he can possess you in the morning and come in When he has you, I know how to deal with you. You have a great capacity. Jesus and devil can possess your body. They can inhabit your body. A person a can carry more than 6,000 demons. Do you hear me, brethren? I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. Do you remember Paul? He said, I intercede from God three times that the angel of the devil to be out from me. Chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. He said, I intercede that the angel of the devil to be removed from me. <laughs> Actually, it was not the demon, not even the angel. I beseech that the angel of the but, shy. but it buffets me. And God said, My grace is sufficient for you. because in your weakness, in your weakness, my power, my grace. Grace is sufficient for you. Just imagine the Lord taking out demons, killing people, resurrecting the dead. But there is a demon in him. The demon used to buffet him. When you read the Galatians, they will tell you, but, but, you Galatians, you wish to give me your arms when I was sick I was preaching Jesus Christ who was crucified on the cross. You wish to even give me your eyes. Do you know when he started to seek? When? 
He started when he was stricken by the lightning. I used to say Jesus about He became blind for three days. Because he wanted to go away with the church. He slept here and he fell off the horse. He became blind for three days. He fasted. Asking the And up until there was a person who healed him. That person among the 12 disciples. He saw an ordinary because God wanted to deal with the pride in him. He knew himself. He had a scroll. Stephen even Stephen was killed so by people Jesus who were When Jesus left him, him, he needed to strike even the pride. A person was not even anointed. He said, Saul, Jesus who was seen in the journey, who made you to be blind, has sent me to lay hand over me and then you will see the signs. Just imagine a person with no title to lay hand over you so that you will receive signs because your pride is being worked on. There are people when they got saved, even their pride is being worked on. Do you remember how many were supposed to give times? Elijah what didn't show up. Up. He said, go and give him seven times. School, yeah. He knew and that he, born, he was the noble one. He said, go and dip in. Because yeah. to some people, you need to deal with their pride. And and Paul Paul from, that day, side, from that day, from that day, his eyes were not healed properly. Because he was healed by a person who had fear. <laughs> He knew very well that this person Maybe he thought that this is the person that to him the hands and then he left and he received sight. Just imagine Paul who was holded by the angel of the devil by the demon he interceded to God that God the angel of the devil was removed, but the demon didn't was the way of. until he yes, died. Do you know the reason? It was for him not to be puffed up. Because us, when we are anointed, when we have money, money when we wear smart, we boast and have pride we, see, see, we even have pride even to God. He said, Paul, this angel, this demon is guiding you not to be puffed up. You see, pride it is so dangerous. It is so dangerous. It will take you out when you are raw and say you are anointed. Look, a demons are screaming. Look, um, people's request, prayer request, and it once possessed me. The when is it? It has entered into you. You can't even see. You cannot differentiate between the pride and confidence. Can I tell you? Hey, <laughs> young I was puffed. Up. I was still at school. That time. We used to preach as SCM. Planting LCM at school. And we cast it out demons. And we. Will Kill people and kill people. And one day, I asked God, there was something or a pain at Especially when I used to preach. Or when I do deliverance, it used to itch. I tried to heal myself, but when I, I pray for people, 
it didn't God come God from him. Him. But miracles and demons cast out people from the earth. And I wanted to take the thought. God said, this is the thought in the flesh. It is guiding you not to be puffed up. Yet I was so persistent. Because of the greatness of revelation. God released the stone. Yes, I was so persistent to God asking to remove this. Yes, it was guiding me. I remember the day he removed it. I saw the heaven opening. And I saw the belt of fire coming down from heaven. It surrounded me. For the first time, I saw this thing that was in me. And it came out. And I was free and I was excited. Yet I didn't know that it was the day for me to cry. I was excited that I was free. But you know what God did later? I even wished that God will bring me that pain. But the one that he uses now, it's so bad. Now I cannot go back anymore. The problem is you cannot choose the type of thorn that will be in you. When is the one who is choosing the thorn for you? He doesn't choose things from heaven. But it, he chooses a thorn that is more like of... <laughs> For 40 years. Paul Do you recall the verses? Of the they said from God that Paul was not there when Jesus God was not there. But Jesus took out and Paul said, I heard things from a person on the earth. I don't know whether I was on spirits or but he was and he had things that is not a person on the earth. He had things that you are not a person on the earth. Can't you have pride in the snake will bite you and you won't die but it will be the snake. Then you won't be the snake. This thing will dwell. Otherwise, I won't live. This thing took out Lucifer. How about you? Yeah, Yet, you are saved. Your flesh is not saved. No one has ever had a revelation about the flesh like Paul. Because he got this revelation. Jesus, he had this yeah, when you like the no know that there will be a greater thorn that will live in your flesh when they see this thorn they will say you have a snake they will continue to see the snake yet it is the thorn whenever you want to bow but the thorn will humble you. The thorn doesn't come from heaven. Paul's eyes used to have tears. How do I know that it was eyes? Because the book of Galatians explained that they even wish to give him their eyes. People like the revelation. revelation have it, it own coast. Do you think it easy that I have said Jesus? While other people see angels, but you see Jesus, you pay the price. Where Jesus visits, the devils also visit. 